mark on our uh, armor here for the uh, bra uh, to cover the boobies. <laughs> All right. First thing uh, I'm going to do now that I have my thickness selected, you know, I know how thick I want it to be, and I have the height this kind of set up. I'm going to go ahead and move this over to the body. So the best way to do that is go over here and select your element tool, and with the element tool selected click anywhere on this. Now we don't want to scale it right now so we're going to right click on it. We want to move it. So we're going to select move. Alright. Now in the perspective window actually go ahead and click off of it and with uh, you know just it selected uh, actually no you also want to deselect element and go ahead and hit uh, now there's none of these are selected you know by you know you can click on them to select them and click off them to unselect them. I want you to go ahead and hit Alt W. This will give us a full wide screen by holding down Alt and pressing W. It will give us a full screen to work in our just our perspective view. Now go ahead and go back over to Element, select Element, select the polygon, our cylinder, and we're going to move it over on the Y. We're just going to move it back to the body and then go ahead and move it up on the body with the Z plane. All right. And you may have to hold down your middle mouse button, get a little closer to the body, and then move it up some more. You know, to try to get it just over the boobs. Don't worry if you have collision by the arms. Don't worry about that for now. We're just shaping it, and try to get it as center over it as possible. You know, by just using your cube to move around and look at it, and you know, get it pretty center. You know, over the body, because now we have to shape it. And it uh, looks like mine could come over on the X a little bit. And just kind of get it as center on it as you can. You know, and get it right where you want it. Now we're going to be reshaping it. So now that we have it in a kind of a good position here, we're going to select our, uh, we're going to deselect the element. So deselect the element and go ahead, Alt W again. I just wanted to show you that you can do that with any of these windows. You can select my left window and I can hit Alt W and it'll bring up the whole screen so now I can just work in just the left view pane or I hold on alt press W again and it shrinks it. You can do that with any window you can hit alt W by selecting the window hitting alt and W and then hitting alt and W again to shrink it back down. The trick with that is if you ever have anything any of these selected polygon element any of these are highlighted you can't hit alt W to shrink and uh, small the screen. So now looking in here to where we have all four selected, we want to be using this left while we initially begin to shape it. So you know you can kind of resize it so you have a little more in the perspective and then kind of come in close you know by using your scroll wheel and your middle mouse button holding it down and just get closer to it so we can work with just this area. You know, cause this is where it's at, this is the part we want to resize. Alright now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the uh, uh, the cylinder. I'm going to select vertices and one of the tricks here is I see the back part is way too far away from the body so I'm going to highlight some of the vertices in the back by just selecting in the left view pane and grabbing it. Now the reason I did that in the left view pane is remember if you select and drag in one of these front to side you know side to side view panes or the top view pane it'll select everything by clicking and dragging that is all the way through the mesh. So look in the back. Because I selected in the left view pane, it selected all the vertices all the way back. And it's not just the ones I can see here, it selected all the ones all the way through because I use the select and drag. All right. I want to move it a little bit closer. So and we don't want to move it with just these cuz look what happens if I just move just these vertices it kind of screws up the shape. It doesn't really maintain its cylinder appearance and it's going to mess it all up. So I want to use soft selection. Now the further away the cylinder is from the body, the higher you want your soft selection. Soft selection wound up over here. So I'm going to use soft selection. I'm going to set the fall off to say a 15. All right, Because it's far away from the body, I want to use a higher and the closer I get to the body, the more I want to drop down the fall off. So we're going to start at 15. In the left view pane, I'm going to move it a little closer, but I have my perspective window set up to where I can see what I'm moving, you know, in real time, or well, in real mesh, so you can actually see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and move it in some. 
Don't worry about a little bit of collision is okay. Just we're moving it closer to the body now. And I do the same thing with the front. Now see I'm working in the front now and I can't see the front, so I'm gonna right click in the perspective, use the cube, move it around to the front so I can see what I'm doing, and then go uh I could move it here too. So I can just click on the Y and drag it back some. You know, there's the boobs right there. I don't wanna collide with them yet. But I do want to kind of get uh, an initial shape started. You know, the sides, if I look here, they're out a little bit. So I'm going to go to the front. Remember the scale tool? We're going to scale this by selecting all the vertices, right clicking in the front view pane, and select scale. And now I have my perspective set up so I can see as I scale it in towards the body, I can see what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and scale it on the X plane to bring it in. That's a little bit closer. Now we're starting to get close. Um, the boobs have a curve to them, so I want to rotate this a little bit. With all the vertices still select, I'm going to right click. I'm going to select rotate. Now the rotate, you to be very careful with this. If I select it and this was highlighted, or I were to select in here, it would move it the wrong way. I want to move it this way. You know, if you look, it's kind of an orb. You know, it's kind of a circle this rotate tool is. So I'm going to select here to where this middle one is highlighted, this one right here, and I'm going to rotate it to where those vertices are kind of just in between the boobs. You know, so I can, I want some vertices right in between the boobs so I can better shape it. Alright, so put this line of vertices, any one of the lines of vertices, you know, the uh, vertical line of vertices, kind of in between the boobs. Alright. As soon as it's kind of rotated to where you can kind of get vertices in between the uh, left and right boob, uh, we're going to right click, select move, and then we're going to select some vertices directly in front of the boobs. This is kind of selecting too much now, because remember we're closer to the body, so we're going to drop this down to a 10. So we'll go up here to soft selection, find fall off, and set it to a 10. The closer you get to the body, the smaller the fall off should be. So I'm going to zoom in here. Now I'm shaping. I selected a vertice kind of in the middle, you know, uh, the middle of the cylinder. And now I'm going to kind of click this and drag it in. Hmm. I don't like the way that moves. So why don't we select the vertice on the top, hold down control, select the vertice, and hold down control and select another vertice. So now I have three vertices. I have one in the middle, one on the top, one on the bottom. Now I'm going to kind of give this a curve to where it shapes around the boobs. Don't worry if you collide because we can fix that in a second and kind of shape it to where it's like, you know, the boobs have two little humps around them. Then to move it out, I'm going to deselect everything. I'm just going to go ahead and in my left view pane, drag over some of the vertices here, you know, enough to select where I'm happy with the selection. It's got everything around the boobs. Then on the X plane, move it out. And all I'm doing here is I'm just reshaping this cylinder to better fit around the body. Now we have a basic shape. You know, it's still sticking through on the back, so uh, I don't want to select the ones out here because they're still out too far. I just want to select the ones right here. So if I eye it and I look in the left view pane, that's kind of like right here. So if I click and I drag over to select some of these, you know, I just want the ones near the top of the body. So I'm just going to select these. I can just move those out. Hmm, it's moving too many. So if I feel like it's moving too many, I'll drop the fall off down, say to a, a five. There you go. That's a much more central selection. You know, it's selecting just the ones I want to move out. All right, we'll have to do this vertice by vertice. Now, this is all about you experimenting and playing with vertices and the fall off to kind of get the right shape. I'm going to select the vertice because I see some collision here. In fact, you know what would fix that is if I scaled this down. So I'm going to select all these vertices in the back. And I'm going to raise my fall off to say about a 10. So it selects more of the vertices. And I'm going to scale it. I'm going to select scale. And on the Y plane in the left view pane, I'm just going to scale it down. Give it more of a more central to that area. Yeah. This is all about, it's like clay, you got to think of it like clay. The, the more you tweak with it, the better you can form it around the body and get your initial shape set up. Now, this part might seem a little confusing. It's not really, you know. 
Uh, it's just a matter of selecting vertices, setting your fall off to the you know size of or the amount of vertices you want to select, and trying to get the right shape that you're interested in. Yeah, and trying to keep it asymmetrical with each other so it you know, looks right. You got to kind of move your view pane around quite a bit, you know, here, and until you get the right shape. You know, and I'm just going to keep on tweaking with this until I fit it on the body. And that's all you're doing. Select vertices and form it around the body. I know it looks blocky right now. I'm going to fix that in a second. All I want you to do now is just select vertices and continue to move them until you get it shaped, a basic shape around the body. You know, and kind of get it close on both the top and the bottom of it. And just to do that, you're just going to use your cube Keep moving around, select one vertice. Ten's a good number to work with when you're doing this step. Um, drop it a little lower if you want to, like a seven, uh, to get a little more accurate uh, the closer you get. And uh, that's a good basic shape to start with, you know. But like I said, it's a little blocky. You know, nothing's poking through the body, but it's still pretty blocky, and I want to get a little more rounded with it. So how do I round it? The first thing I want to do is deselect all the vertices. I'm going to go up here where it says Editable Poly. I'm just going to drop this down to the modifier, and I'm going to add a smooth to it. Smooth does more than just prevent the creation of vertices. It also, watch what I do when I hit when I uh, I select the smooth. I select two. Oh wow! Look at that just rounded it up made it look a little better now I'm going to right click on it after adding a smooth that smoothed it out I'm gonna convert it back to an editable poly and uh, I'm gonna close this soft selection real quick by double clicking on it whoops and as soon as it's double clicked with it selected come over here and in the edit geometry list you will find something that says M smooth so locate your edit geometry list. You can find it easily by minimizing your saw selection. Find edit geometry, go down, select M smooth, and watch what happens. Wow, look how that rounded out even more. Now you don't want to smooth it out too much. If you smooth, smooth it out too much, uh, you could crash 3DS, because every time you smooth this mesh, look at the vertice count now it increases the amount of polygons which it increases the amount of vertices now with more vertices I can even get a little more accurate on how this armor is fitted so I'm just gonna go ahead and move some more vertices I'm gonna select some vertices you know oh, gotta turn soft selection back on so I go over to soft selection I open it up use soft selection 20 is too high there's too many yellow and whatnot. so let's drop this down to say a 10 see what that selects. Mm, that still selects quite a bit. I want to get pretty accurate here so I'm gonna drop it down to a 5. Yeah that's really central maybe a little too central so let's try a 7. See I'm just testing by setting it until I get the right amount. That looks pretty good. I think I could work with that. So now using the perspective window I'm just gonna kinda shape some stuff. I'm just gonna shape it around the breasts, you know, just by selecting them and trying to keep it asymmetrical, you know, on both sides, make it look like it's the same. And it's all about just fitting this clothing over the body. Uh -oh, too far. All right, this video's ran out of time. Uh, just continue to shape your mesh around the body, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, just move vertices around. That's all we're doing is reshaping this um, to fit as best as you can and uh, you know around this uh, part of the body.